Hello, my name is Kathy Cole. I've been teaching in the Rochester School District for about, um, well, I have 25 years of experience, but not all of those years are here in Rochester. I taught for three years in the Wani system, took about 10 years off when my girls were small, and then came back to teaching on a volunteer basis at first, and then got paid for one day a week, then two, and gradually from three to four, and um, ended up the last 15 years or so I've been full time. Um, I teach K through two music for one more day. It's hard to believe that that career is coming to an end, but I'm looking forward to retirement too. Um, I got my start in education, I guess, through wonderful teachers in elementary school, uh, junior high and high school. I went to school in the state of Pennsylvania and had some very good teachers who cared a lot and were um, very creative and were a good example for me. And um, I, then I studied at Huntington University and um, taught in the Wani system, like I said, and then took some time off before I came here. Um, my most memorable moment from teaching is hard to nail down, and I'm sure that's true of everyone. But probably um, it would be that three or four times a year, the hard work of putting a concert together and then standing in front of the students and hearing them do their best and all come together. And um, that was very satisfying and very rewarding and um, lots of fun. Sometimes I would just get chills, you know, d up and down my spine at a concert just because finally it all came together and it was such a reward to see that happen. Um, one of the most satisfying things I have found in being a music teacher is seeing the students grow in their knowledge and confidence from kindergarten to second grade. And some who didn't even want to to hold a little poster or something in kindergarten, want to do a uh, solo by the time they're second graders. And that's always fun to watch that growth. And also to see many students through the years go on to major in music or to just have music as a love of their life. It doesn't matter if they're a music major, but you know, a lot of them are in a church choir or a community band of some sort. And that's rewarding just to see that kids um, go on and use music to help themselves enjoy their lives. So that has been very satisfying. Um, I think one of the things that I'll miss most about teaching is the people that I work with. The people here at Columbia are wonderful and they really work together and are very positive and do whatever it takes to make students succeed. And so I will miss each one of them. Each one's very different and yet um, each one has gifts and abilities that make the system work well together. I'll also miss my fellow music teachers. Um, we become very close through the years and worked well together. And so I'm definitely gonna miss that. And of course, I will miss the students um, and the hugs and smiles that children this age give you every day. So I think I'll miss the people, whether it would be staff or students. Um, <clears throat> one thing that uh, also was very satisfying the last 10 years or so here at Columbia. I um, was the person who did the box tops for education and each year that earned us between a thousand and two thousand dollars. So each one of those crazy little box tops that you cut off of a cereal box really add up and they're worth ten cents a piece so if you are not used to saving those please do and bring them to either Riddle or Columbia but that money has gone to help pay for everything from a new stage curtain to the music we use for concerts to new instruments for our music classroom. And now um, when I leave, Tori Watson is going to be taking it over. She is uh, a special needs teacher and of course they have lots of things that they can use money for as well. And I'm sure that if the music department needs something in the future, she'd be happy to share as we sometimes shared with PE and other departments. Um, as far as what I plan to do with my free time, I have lots of projects that I'm behind on at home, so I'll enjoy that because I've always been kind of a homebody, but uh, I've enjoyed working all these years, but it'll be nice just to be at home, to sleep in a little bit, 
Um, a couple of years ago, my husband and I bought an RV, so we hope to do some traveling. We have a trip to Europe planned. Of course, we won't be taking an RV there, but we are planning to do that next spring, so we're excited about that. And then, of course, we are really looking forward to spending more time with our five grandchildren and maybe a, a couple of more in the future. And we're active in our church, so it will be rewarding to, to spend some time doing those things that I've had to put on the back burner all these years. As far as advice for younger teachers or people aspiring to become teachers, I would just say be ready for hard work because it is hard work, but it's very rewarding. It's challenging at times. Um, you'll see lots of changes. I kind of joke sometimes that everything and nothing changes about education. It seems like we're always making changes and yet it's just the same stuff called by a different name really through the years. Um, except for probably technology and that's been a big change since I started in the 70s and um, it's been fun to watch that as it emerges as a huge factor in education. Be sure that you love kids if you're going to be a teacher and that you genuinely care about them because they can tell. And just stay positive because through all of those changes and those interpersonal relationships, if you stay positive and choose to have a good attitude about it, it will go much smoother. And anybody who goes into education, I wish you the best. And I, w I just want to take a second to thank the Rochester community. Our three girls grew up here. Um, they had scholarships and um, the community has been very good to my husband and, and myself and our family and so I just want to say thank you for being a great place to live and work.